Hello YouTube, HPZ here again today and I think it's about time we do a bit of a talkie or let me put it this way, I'm forced to do a bit of a talkie as many of you have noticed, the last two weeks I haven't uploaded any new videos nothing at all the reason being I got given this nice compact uh, Pentium 166mmx uh, office computer and it's a very nice system and I thought okay I'll do a nice series on what you need to do to get one of these office computers up and running for retro gaming preferably from the period from 1996-1997 and uh, what you need to buy, what you need to look out for, what you need to keep an eye on and everything like that so I started out the series with the system and it was working perfectly fine at the time and unfortunately two thirds of the way through the series four hours of video footage captured the system died I plugged in power, I had a nice flash and a bang and uh, that's the end of it well, the end of the system so what I thought about talking about today is talking about all the systems and what can go wrong especially things that you won't notice um, like what happened with me in this, on this system now I opened the system up and I had a look inside and the actual bias battery, I don't know if you can see it on video down there perfectly fine, no acid leaks, capacitors look perfect um, no scorch marks, no dust, it just looked like a beautiful lovely system I don't think it ever got much use in the office, I think it was used as a spare because when apparently when they bought it, it was too slow for what they wanted to do originally or something of the sort so they never used it much um, it even has like stickers in, on, in the front of it when they did uh, Windows 2K a verification to see if the system will actually run Windows 2000 so I thought, ah, perfect system so what went wrong? normally a flash and a bang would mean that something terrible has happened to the system and unfortunately in this case it did and it wasn't salvageable now what had happened over the actual years is the system wasn't being used the electrolytic capacitors that's actually inside this power supply started to dry out now as many of you know what a capacitor actually does it smooths voltage it's like a little battery it keeps a little bit of voltage and removes spikes and changes in voltage it normally does a very good job of this as long as the electrolyte the liquid inside doesn't well over time like what will happen is it will evaporate or it doesn't go out of the capacitor now unfortunately in this case it, the system is so old considering it was made in 1996 or 1997 that most of those capacitors lost the electrolytics and that strained quite a few of the voltage regulators in here and I regret that that strained it to the point and I of course didn't know this guy I powered on the system and it's working fine and I didn't open the power supply still haven't actually fully opened it but I know exactly what's happened to it that over time okay, they strain the transistors to a point where the transistor just can't do its job it can't output a certain voltage and flash and bang, transistor blew up probably took a capacitor with it or a capacitor blew up and then blew a transistor and at the end of the day, after testing, I don't even bother checking the power supply again because I've got a very similar power supply also out of a compact plugged it in and it took the motherboard with it power just, when it spiked and it blew up, it sent too much power out through it my guess would be probably over one of the little voltage rails like 3.3 volt or 5 volt and that killed off the motherboard I've checked fuses on here and no burn traces and somewhere something is dead on here and it's just not fixable so what this video is about basically is that no matter how good something looks there is a chance that you might open it up and it doesn't work or you might plug it in and you bought it off of ebay and it dies it's just due to the age of the system and there's not much a person can do about that except moving on as luck would have it the same person that gave me the system has a few other computers that they were throwing away and uh, they didn't manage to load up all of them to throw away and he's got another one so I'll be making another video and this video I'll actually open up the power supply and see what exactly went wrong and where it went wrong 
I still haven't done this one. I don't really want to do that on camera. Um, when you open these up, you need to be extremely careful how you handle them, not to touch capacitors or anything else like that, or you might get a shock and it could be quite serious with AC capacitors, they can be lethal. So I don't want to do that on camera, I'll take the support a little bit later this week and give it a good once over and see if I can fix it and I might do another update and show you where the fault is on the system or what went wrong, but uh, yeah, until then there's not much I can do but uh, give you a little bit of a talkie and tell you that I'm extremely sorry for not making a video in the last two weeks and uh, warn you basically just to be careful with all the systems and uh, also I would like to find out from anyone viewing if there's anything specific that you want me to do all the video game systems are hard to come by in South Africa not everyone kept them or the pitos that did still keep them as uh, well to game on so I don't always get to get old machines in for repairs I do get to get a lot of modern machines in uh, PS2's for laser replacements, PS2's for chips uh, PS2's for general motherboard repairs, power supplies um, lots of Xboxes, everything from DVD ROMs, lasers uh, ps 3 Blu-ray lasers uh, everything, a lot of things like that I would like to know if you guys would mind some more newer content or should I stay with old content and make less videos but more quality videos or if you just want me to create like little tutorial videos on soldering and what sort of solder stations I like and what I've used and what I've experienced over the years or stories or just let me know what you want to see I really want to know from my viewers what they would like me to see doing for the next few videos and uh, we'll give that a go and we'll give it a try and see how it goes. I just thought we'll do a little update before I finish the editing. I open the power supply up and uh, I can't see anything visually wrong with it. The only thing I noticed is <laughs> this dead Christmas beetle. I wonder if that will focus. And I found inside the power supply and it has a very interesting insignia. It has like, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I move the light a little bit that way. There we go. There's basically like a thunderstorm cloud over a little island. And on top of it, it's written compact. <laughs> um, wait, let's see if I can. Yeah, that's just interesting. burnouts, nothing major, very dusty. So I'll open this up and see where that flash of light came from and all I can do to fix it. Also, there's no ground plane on these. Don't want to touch anything there. Uh, nothing at all. If you touch there somewhere, chances are you're going to maybe touch a capacitor or something and uh, you'll get the shock of your life. Who knows, it could kill you. Definitely not recommended. So I'm going to start opening this up. Uh, I don't think it's on the primary side. I think it's somewhere on the secondary side. I'm not too sure where. But it's just going to be a question of opening up looking for dead components. The caps look fine. I have no idea on the cap side of things what's going on here. It looks alright. Maybe one of the Transistors or MOSFETs, you know. I have no idea. I guess it's going to take a bit long for me to find out and diagnose, but uh, I'll either fix this one or when the next one come up, comes up, I'll just do a new set of videos from that. Another interesting thing, thing is a lot of you might think this is ATX. It's not. Um, that goes to the power switch and as you know ATX is controlled by a motherboard so not only did I go online and check the pinouts for the connector completely different on both my power supplies I know the other one is working and like I said before I tried it in here absolutely no luck and uh, yeah that goes to the power switch that goes to the motherboard <laughs> and uh, this looks like some sort of ATX AT hybrid compact to use. 
I mean, all know Compact loves proprietary iron hardware, and uh, it's going to be quite literally. Just need to take the time and open that up and have a look inside and give it a good clean up. But uh, interesting thing is, I thought no one else was in here. I removed the two stickers. Someone else has been in here before because that screw was missing. Yeah, could mean something. Could mean nothing. I don't know. I'll have to go do some exploring and find out for myself. Thank you guys for watching and uh, please comment, rate and subscribe if you like my videos.